Gadget Cell. This is your pal, Gadget Cell. And of course, that's not my real voice, but it is me, your pal, Sal. And what we do on this channel is we rate gadgets from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst, 10 being the best. But it's only one test, that's all. So let's get this started. Guys, welcome back. What we have today are eight AliExpress weird keychain gadgets, so let's check them out. And the first one that we are going to check out is this one right over here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I've never seen it, but I thought it was kind of weird, so I bought it off of AliExpress. Took a while to get here, but it got here. And it's kind of made out of rubberized, gooey stuff, stretchy stuff. And uh, it does stretch, as you can see. Here's the neck and the head. Stretch it. Here are the chicken feet. So th these are pretty weird AliExpress keychain gadgets, guys. And what this one does is you can see the belly is pretty fat here. It's pretty big. And it has essentially an egg inside of its belly. So here we go. Ready? I'm going to try to squeeze it here. And there we go. It's kind of weird. It's extremely weird. So that's what it is. It's filled with some type of fluid inside. I don't know what it is, but it also has that egg in that clear stuff. <laughs> So we're going to do it again. We're going to squeeze it. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of weird. But these are pretty weird keychain gadgets. I don't know if I would carry this. But if you want to carry it, you can. There it is. Maybe you want to put this on your backpack. I wouldn't carry this on my keychain. Maybe as a novelty thing on your backpack. Maybe that's where you want to carry it. But it is kind of weird. It would be kind of weird on your keys. And it's kind of bulky. The weird factor is pretty cool. It's pretty high up there. This thing might leak after a while. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm going to give this a 6.7. I don't know why, but I'm thinking a 6.7 on this thing. It's kind of weird. The weird factor is pretty high up there. The next one here, guys, I think this is, it's weird, but at the same time, it's cool. I wouldn't use it as a keychain. It, it, it seems a little too excessive and big. A samurai sword. Pull the sword out. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It's not sharp. It's not sharp. It is pointy, but it's not sharp. It's not going to cut you unless you really want to sharpen it. But the rest on the outside is made out of plastic. The sword is made out of metal. So you can basically sharpen it and hurt somebody if you really want to. Even with the pointy end, it's kind of really pointy. Put this back inside. And that's what it's going to look like. Yeah, you see how it's just hanging there? Going side to side. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, same thing. I think you might want to hang it on your backpack. The weird factor is not high up there like the chicken. But it is still kind of weird to be carrying... Uh, some type of katana around and you pull it out and this is what it's gonna be i thought it was pretty cool though but i'm gonna give this one a 6.9 it is kind of bulky you're not going to be able to carry it in your pocket this is made out of metal that's pretty cool it is kind of pointy could be dangerous um so be careful if you get this carrying it in your pocket i don't think that's an option it would have to be carried like on a backpack or a purse or something like that next one the next two that we have here one of them is this one right over here and it is supposed to be carried on most likely a backpack but i'm gonna put it on the keychain just so you can see it it does swivel but it reminds me of uh tony stark's the arc that he ha that he has in the middle of, the of his chest this is a light for camping it swivels all the way around that's pretty cool the weird factor is yeah it's right down the center it lights up pretty good as you can see here and then it has a low light mode and then a blinking light mode high low blinking it has more of a cool factor but the ad advertised it as a keychain most likely you're going to carry this on your backpack or on your purse or something like that i don't think you would carry this on your keys it's too big you're going to be able to open it and change the battery it has screws for that i'm going to give this one a 7.2 for emergency reasons if you carry this on your backpack it's going to work really well the weird factor is not that high up there but it's still pretty pretty weird that they would make it swivel like this a light but it looks like a key check that out I really do like this. It's a pretty smart idea. It blends in with keys. People are not going to know. And let's see how bright it is. It has LEDs right there on the front where the, the key teeth would be. That's pretty cool. Blinking. That's it. Two modes. Solid. Blinking. And that's about it. But if you're trying to find... Let's say you don't have a light right outside of your house, the light's broken or something, you turn this on, you're going to be able to find the keyhole in your house. This one is rechargeable. You do have to charge it, but it's LED. Here it is. It's micro USB. It's water, I think, resistant because it's rubberized here. And you just close it up. And that's about it. And this is what it's going to look like. 
it looks like the set of keys. You really can't tell. I mean, if I flash it on the camera really quick, you can barely tell if, if that's a real key or not. It matches with my car key. This is my car key. This is the light, and this is the house key. The house key is really small compared to the light. So you turn on the light. I mean, as you're opening, or if you want to open your door, you're going to be able to see where that key opening is to unlock your door. So that's pretty cool. This is an ingenious idea. It's a little bit bulky, as you can see here. I'm going to give this one a 7.9. It's pretty cool. It's pretty ingenious. You do have to recharge it, but I think the batteries will last a long time because it's LED and LED lights. They don't discharge the battery that quick. This is kind of weird. I mean, to just have this on your keychain, it is a level and it does actually work. Focus there. You can see the bubble. There it is right there. That's leveled there in between the lines. And that's pretty cool. It's a little bit too blocky. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. So it's flat and you level on the surface. It, I think it'll hurt if you put it inside of your pocket. It's a little bit too sharp on the edges right over here. But the weird factor is up there for me because I've never seen this. Does actually work. I might even just keep this around to use it. I'm gonna give this one a 7.4. It's made out of plastic, but I really do like it. It's a pretty genius idea. The weird factor is up there for me to carry a level on your keychain. These next two I'm gonna do together. One is a plate of ramen with a piece of pork and a piece of leek and ramen at the bottom, the noodles, inside of the bowl. How about that for your keychain, huh? And the next one is a half-eaten apple, which is extremely weird. They're both extremely weird, but this is a, a red half-eaten apple. There's the core. It even has the seeds. It even has a stem right on top. Pretty weird, huh? And then, of course, I'm guessing it's pork and a piece of leek and the ramen noodles right inside encased. It looks pretty real to me. We'll put them both on there. This is what they're going to look like on your keys. Half-eaten apple and the ramen. <laughs> And the keys, there it is. That's what it's gonna look like. Kind of weird, here's the apple by itself if you wanna carry the apple by itself. Here's the ramen by itself if you wanna carry the ramen by itself. The ramen's pretty cool, it's kind of different. The half-eaten apple looks a little bit too weird for me, but the ramen is not that bad. It, it would fit in your pocket pretty nicely. It wouldn't get in the way. That's pretty weird, but still pretty cool. The half-eaten apple is pretty weird. It's cool, but it's a little too weird for me, I think. But I think I would carry it for a while just so people can be like, hey, why do you have a happy apple on your keys? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Exactly. <laughs> That's why we bought it. Exactly. So the apple, I'm going to give this one a 6.6. .6. It's okay to me to half eat an apple. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool that it has the seeds and the stem on top, but it's just a half eaten apple. The ramen, I really do like it. I like the detail on it. I'm going to give this one a 7.3. I like how it's encased, the leek. The pork and the ramen it looks pretty real and i like the bowl it's pretty cool i really do like this one the last one here guys is this one right over here it's called a game box mini so that's pretty cool and it's supposed to be a keychain so let's check this out 26 in one games and they come in different colors as you can see here oh there's more and it has these small little batteries whoa it even has sound that's pretty cool it does have a speaker there. It's made out of plastic, the whole thing. These rubber buttons right over here. That's pretty cool, guys. Whoa. So you press the button and it's... Wow, that's pretty cool. All the way down, all the way down. That's pretty cool. So the D-pad does work. Left, right, down. And the switch, the switch button here, it does work. That's pretty cool. Something different. Oh, it changes shapes. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna reset it. This is more like a shooter game. So they're pretty simplistic, the games. The, like the old cell phones that had pretty simplistic game like Snake and stuff like that. Ah, I got it. Come on, come on, come on, I got it. Ah, no, don't kill me. I got it, go, 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 go. Go, go, get it, get it, get it. It's a very tiny Game Boy. That's what it looks like. We'll put it on the keys. It's supposed to be pretty weird carrying a Game Boy around your keys. And here it is, guys. This is what it's gonna look like when you turn your keys. I mean, you might accidentally turn it on in your pocket. It's kind of bulky. It's even bulky on the keys. I'm gonna give this a 7.8 for the cool factor. The weird factor is up there too, but the cool factor is 
is really nice on this thing. I really do like it. I don't know if I would carry it around like this. Maybe just have it in your glove compartment or something. Guys, thank you very much for watching. This is your pal Gadget Sal here again. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. And please check out this video right over here to see some more gadgets tested and scored. Remember, one test, that's all. We'll see you next time. Thank you.